It's a big development tonight in the Highland Park school crisis. The state house just passed a plan providing money to finance students who want to move to a new district. 7 Action News reporter Glenda Lewis is live in Highland Park. And Glenda, explain more. What's this all about tonight? Well, Joanne, it's called the Distressed district student transition grant and it's quite an opposite philosophy from the enrollment center that we're standing in front of but it's about four thousand dollars per student that would follow each student that chooses to leave the district no money for the district they were very specific about that but a teacher we spoke to maybe just a few minutes ago says he wants to see someone come in and make sense of what's happening to all of these dollars what I read, I understood it's not for Highland Park. It's to follow the students. Who's number one in this? I totally agree that money should go with those students. It shouldn't come here. Seven-year middle school social studies teacher Eric Williams called Action News because he says he's tired of the way students are forced to learn in the financially strapped Highland Park School District and would like to see an emergency manager step in and show what's happening to all the money. We already are short supplies, very short on supplies, uh, things as simple as paper. Paper. Uh, I'm teaching out of the same books that I started teaching out of seven years ago, and history has moved on. We need desks. I have desks that are, 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 are a danger to students because they have sharp edges on them. The leaders of the district have something to hide because if you're not making payroll, why would it be a problem for you to accept the uh, emergency financial manager? And Eric went on to say that he hasn't had heat in his classroom for two years, that they just put it on on Monday. So I asked him also about that payless payday, and he says, of course that's going to hurt. There's already money being taken out of teachers' checks to cover their summertime. Uh, there's a meeting, school board meeting, here tonight at 7 o'clock, and we'll see what they're talking about. Live in Highland Park, I'm Glenda Lewis, 7 Action News.